Okay, you guys, we're back in the kitchen. What we, what's on the menu for tonight? We're making some um, roll tacos. I think they call them chicken um, taquitos or something like that. But anyway, it's a roll taco that we're gonna be making. First thing we gotta do is cook our chicken. So here I have one, two, three, four, I see one, two, three, four, five boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm getting ready to boil those up. I'm gonna throw in a half of an onion, half of a large onion, just whole thing, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna take the other half and saute it later and to put mix in with my mix, okay? I'm also going to add in some mix, some, some um, chopped garlic, as well as some couple of stalks of celery. Let's throw in one more. And I bag the other piece. Okay? So yeah, let's get our garlic cut up. And um, we're going to throw in the garlic as well. I just want to chop the ends off of that. And we're going to throw the whole thing in there. Let it cook until it's nice and tender. So that's one, two, three, four pieces of garlic. I'm getting ready to put in there. Okay. And all we got to do now, and I'm also going to put in some of my my chicken boil. You know, I like that. That gives stuff a good flavor. What is this called? Chicken flavor boil. I've been saying it right. I'm going to put some of that in there. And that's it. And I'm going to put a top on it. I got it on the medium heat. We're gonna let it cook to get nice and tender. Just like that. Okay, so this has got to cook for at least 30 to 45 minutes until it's done all the way through. Nice and tender and cook. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll go to the next step. Okay, y'all, so my chicken is done. I'm getting ready to remove it. It's got an awesome flavor in that broth. I can make some chicken dressing with that broth. Okay, so we're going to remove our chicken. Let it cool off so we can cut it, shred it. And then we're going to move on to the next step. It's so quick. It's um simple and easy. I've been watching different recipes or different videos on how to do it. And, um... I like this this way the best. So it's just some rolled up tacos. They call it tortitos. Tortitos? Tortitos or something like that. Rolled up tacos. Okay. So I am going to remove all of my chicken from this. I don't want the celery. I don't need the celery. The onion was in there to just give it a good flavor. And it, and it did. Okay. And so I think what I may do is save this broth. This is some good broth. And then when I get ready to make me a pan of um, dressing, I can use this stock for my dressing. Okay, so we're going to let the chicken cool. We're gonna, when I come back, it'll probably be shredded. And then we'll move up over to the next step. So I'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I got my chicken cooled off and it's shredded here. I have um, eight ounces of cream cheese that we're going to be mixing together. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this open, get it in the bowl. Now this is going to be rolled up in our tortillas that we have over over there. You guys can't see it at the moment, but that's what we have. So you're going to mix in the cream cheese. Get all out of there. And then we're going to mix in a couple of spoonfuls of sour cream. About that much. I don't want a whole lot. Okay. And I'm going to mix in, I have some salsa here that I'm going to mix in. 
put a little bit of that in there. eyeball everything. I'm going I got some chicken taco seasoning here. I'm just gonna put just a little bit in there. Just a little bit because I don't want it to overpower. Not that much. Okay. And then I have some four cheese, Mexican four cheese I'm gonna mix in with this. Let me mix this up a little bit first before I put my cheese in. And my cream cheese was at room temperature. Mix everything up together. And I also have my, I'll show you guys that part in a minute. Let's mix this up. So I have my, let's mix in our cheese. I just eyeball it. Take it and mix it up good. put in our chicken. Mix that up. And that's going to be our filling inside of our potatoes. I think this bowl is big enough. Okay, take it, get it mixed up real good. I got my stove, I got like a half an inch of oil, canola, canola oil in my pan here. I'm letting it heat up and we're gonna fry our tortitos. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fill our tortitos and then we're gonna deep fry them. Well not deep fry them, but fry them in the pan. And then on the side we're gonna have a little chicken flavored rice with this, okay? So let's mix this up. Let's get through mixing this up. Get your gas set up here. Make sure you mix it up really well. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. The chicken was well seasoned. It had a nice seasoned flavor to it. From that um, onion that I put in there. And that um and that onion that I put in there and the, and the garlic cloves that I put in there gave it a nice flavor. Gonna be something quick, simple, and easy, and tasty. I just want to make sure that I got everything mixed up. So let me finish mixing this. When I get ready to drop it in the pan, I bring you guys back and we get ready to roll it up and drop it in the pan. So you back in a second. Okay, you guys, we're getting ready to roll. We're getting ready to fill, roll, and drop it in inside of the pan. So you take your filling. Turn my pot down right here. You take as much, and then you're going to take it, and you're going to tuck it in. Tuck it in with your fingers. Pull it in like that. Fold it. Place it. Go to the next one. Just up more. Put it in there. You can't fill it all the way up because then it's going to start coming out, but put enough in there to have a good amount in there. Fill. Roll. Tuck it. Do it like that. Okay. I'm 
we're going to drop it in our grease that's nice and hot. It's ready for it. I'm just going to take it and place it down in our pan. Just like that. And get one more in there. And I have like nine of these. What I want to do is I can do as many as I like. And then just save um, the rest for later. A little bit of that came out, but that's fine. I'm gonna take and let that fry about a few minutes on each side. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see it. And then, as I, when I get ready to flip it over, I bring you guys back and we'll do a few more. See you guys back in a second. Okay, you guys, and it's been a few minutes, so let's flip it and see what it looks like. Let's take it like this. It burns up nicely. Nice color on them. Let's take up a few more. We're gonna roll them up when I get ready to take these out. We're gonna put a few more in there. That's gonna be good, y'all. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um queso blanco sauce, the white cheese sauce, cheese dip, and um put a little bit on top of it. So that's how we're gonna eat ours tonight. Or you can dip it in this in, inside of the, the dip, like a like a dip, sauce and dip. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, you guys, let's take these up and get ready for our next batch. Woo! That's gonna be good. It's gonna be nice and crunchy with that good old cream cheese on the inside of it. Oh, so good. Let's put our next set in there. One more in there. Okay, so I got a good amount, a good amount left over. If they want some more, then I'll fix some. We got our rice cooking in the back, so we're gonna have these chicken to toquitos, or however you pronounce it, rolled up tacos with some rice, and um, that's gonna be our little quick dinner for tonight. I uh, thank you guys for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and your family. And um, when I plate everything, I'll bring you guys back and let you see what it looks like. See you back in a second.